let's get into the story, man. It says a ha hacker tried to poison the California water supply, and it was as easy as just entering the password. It says on January 15th, a hacker tried to poison a water treatment plant that served part of San Francisco Bay Area. It didn't seem hard to do. It says the hacker had the username and password of former employees, team viewer accounts, a popular program that lets users remotely control computers, according to the private report compiled by Northern California Regional Intelligence Center in February and seen by NBC News. After logging in, the hacker, whose name and motive are still unknown and who hasn't been identified by law enforcement, deleted programs that the water plant used to treat the drinking water. Like, okay, when you, I don't know if y'all know how this works, but y'all need to go look at my water crisis videos and all the videos I do, but I'm gonna explain it briefly, but you need to go check out some of my goddamn videos because I explain about this water treatment plant shit, right? When you're, before your water comes out of a faucet in your area, in your city, in your town, every town, every city has a water treatment plant that your water must go through to be sterilized and to be clean and treated before it actually reaches your faucet and your sinks and before you use it to bathe and before you use it to drink. Now, all the water must go through the treatment plant because if it doesn't, then the water is poison and toxic, right? We have fucked the earth up so much. We have polluted and destroyed the earth so much. That's why they keep telling you the new wars are going to be over water. We are literally running out of water in America. And these people being able to poison the treatment plants or co-opt or corrupt the treatment plants is just going to exacerbate the problem because we already we're already running low on water california is under a drought to goddamn 2025 or some shit right they're on they're on the drought for the next 30 years california is on a drought this is the earliest california has had drought warnings and and and, and um they put in you know countermeasures and they're under drought uh warnings right now this is the earliest that is hit for cali every year it gets quicker and quicker they dry up um so what i'm saying is we already have water issues in the country so this is just going to complicate and exacerbate the problem because if you don't have the treatment plant then you can't drink the water and if you do drink the water you're gonna be poisoned it ain't like no poison where you're gonna die 40 50 years from now and all this shit no you get poison water you be dead within a few days you remember when that shit happened in texas and all of the power plants went down and they couldn't have no electricity they didn't have any electricity but also remember what happened one of the other things that happened was they could they could they couldn't drink any of the water because the treatment plants in texas when the electrical grid went down the power the treatment the water Water treatment plants went down and didn't work and remember even after the water treatment plants went up it still took several days before they could drink the water because they had to get the shit up and running and actually try to get the water sterilized and cleaned again right so you remember when that texas storms hit over the winter when the blizzards hit in texas and they texas didn't have no water it wasn't because it was a drought or water dried up it was because the water treatment plants went down and texas put out the warning to all texas residents not to drink or use the water and they had remember they was buying bottles of water they was trying to donate water to these people right this shit lasted for days on end where they couldn't use the water so this is what happens that's a good example of something that we know that you should know about because i reported it here remember when texas power group went down and that's what happens when the treatment plant goes down you cannot drink the water and if you do there's a good chance you may die in a matter of days. So let's continue to keep reading. Um, it says the hack wasn't discovered until the following day and the facility changed the password and reinstalled the program. No failures were reported as a result of the incident and no individuals in the city reported illness from water related failures. The report, which did not specify which water treatment plant had been breached, noted. Now it also says here that the incident, which has not been previously reported, is one of a growing number of cyber attacks on U.S. water infrastructure that has recently come to light. The Bay Area attack was followed by a similar one in Oldsmar, Florida, a few weeks later. In that one, which made headlines around the world, a hacker also gained access to a team viewer account and raised the levels of lie in the drinking water to poisonous levels. An employee quickly caught the computer mouse moving on its own and undid the hacker's changes. Listen now, they said, the, the one that happened, this one happened, but one happened a few weeks ago that I didn't even hear about. So I don't know how the hell did it happen a few weeks ago and make worldwide headlines because I didn't hear shit about it. So I know that's a goddamn lie. Ain't no way it made no worldwide headlines. I, of course, we would have known about it. But it says uh, the Bay Area attack was followed by a similar one in Oldsmar, Florida. I don't even, I never even heard of Oldsmar, Florida. I don't even know what the hell that is. But it says in, Oldmar, in Oldsmar, Florida, a few weeks later, in that one, 
which made headlines around the world. That's a goddamn lie, like I said. A hacker also gained access to the team viewer account and raised the levels of lie. They were able to raise the levels of lie to poisonous levels. First of all, it's a fucked up that we even got to put lie in our drinking water, but this is the type of shit because we didn't pollute it. I mean, it's already poison. This is, we got to put poison to try to keep us safe from the other poison. We're using poison against poison right now. How long do you think that's going to last, even without the computer hacks? But they were able to raise the levels of lie. Could you imagine going to give your kids some goddamn drinking water and you're giving them lie to drink? They raised the levels of lie to deadly amounts. Oh, that's a horrible fucking death. So they, this is see, this is this Putin shit or this is this China shit or whoever's doing this shit. But this shit is I keep telling y'all about World War Three. Go look at the World War Three videos and I'm about to drop another one. Shit like this is what's going to lead to inevitability of having to be a third world war, which is probably going to be new nuclear because everybody's got fucking nuclear weapons because you cannot listen man you cannot come to a country and start fucking with the drinking water especially when we know that water is a they just put water on the stock exchange because it's turned into a commodity we know how precious water is right now and you're gonna come and fucking poison our water <laughs> really the whole world is on a drought, under drought warnings and running out of water. At half of America right now, in parts of America, we're hitting record high temperatures. Arizona, Death Valley, all these damn places. Cali, you name it. Record high temperatures. It's going to be over 100 degrees in a lot of these places. 100 plus, 115 plus degrees or better. Right? This is the quickest and the earliest this type of heat wave has came. I'm going to do a story. As a matter of fact, I might do it now since we're starting to talk about it. But in the middle of these goddamn heat waves, you think you're going to be able to mess with America's water supply? And I don't know what the hell old Sleepy Joe doing. But this, I don't know. I don't. I'm a progressive. So I'm against war. At all costs, I'm against war. But God damn it, I'm about ready to say push the goddamn button, Joe. Let's go get them. Get the drones ready. You're not going to fuck with the baby's water, man. Now, that's why I always say some progressives are idiots and they say, oh, under no circumstances, we should never fight back. Oh, it should never be a war. No, if you are fucking with my drinking water and my food, then goddamn, as progressive as I am, I'm putting all that shit inside and give me one of them goddamn M16. Throw me an AK. Throw me an AR-15. Um, so let's continue to keep reading. It says the Biden administration and the public are in the middle of a cybersecurity reckoning. Russia and the Chinese spies have sneaked into numerous federal government networks, sometimes sitting for months undetected. Criminals have hacked into practically every industry and extorted companies at will, including those that occupy important parts of the U.S. supply chains. But of all the country's critical infrastructure, water might be the most vulnerable to hackers. It says uh, the hardest in which to guarantee everyone follows basic cyber security steps and the easiest in which to cause major real world harm to large numbers of people. U.S. water infrastructure does have some built in security, most notably its lack of centralization. A widespread water hack would be difficult to pull off, much like a hack on the U.S. Ele elections because each facility runs independently, not working in tandem with others. Key word in this shit is, it says it would be difficult to pull off, not fucking impossible, which means that it is possible to do it. So these motherfuckers, I don't know, man. I can't believe that they was up in the levels of lie in the water. And if it wasn't but for that person who caught and seen the mouse moving on their damn computer screen, it, you're not touching nothing. Imagine your damn cursor start moving and clicking on shit. Right? They had found a way to hack into the system remotely and control it. So she's sitting there or he's sitting there looking at the goddamn mouse moving and clicking and going in the shit and up in the levels of lie. Could you imagine if they wasn't able to, if they didn't see that shit and didn't immediately fix that correction, that would have been catastrophic. You're probably talking about tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people who would have been potentially wiped the fuck out and not only been wiped out, but suffered gravely. Lie. And it's crazy that they even got lie in the goddamn water in the first place but like i said we have put so much poison into the goddamn atmosphere right we have poisoned the the, the uh the earth that we inhabited so much that now we have to use poison to try to protect us from other goddamn poisons but i think that this is a big vulnerability especially like i say and they saying that it wasn't even that hard so like this is child's play for these hackers to to get in that this is how unprepared we are and you, of course we are because we're humans and of course incompetency and greed at the federal level with, with the president, not just Biden, but everyone before him. Yes, Trump, all you Trumpsters, jackasses. Yes, Obama, all you Obamites. 
jackasses, Clinton, Bush, both Bushes, Reagan, you name it, right? This is the years of fucking corruption and greed, max regulations on the environment. Because of course, people people got to make a buck. And now what do we have? We are at a situation now that's so dire that we have to treat our water. Everyone in the country gets to rely, put in their water and treat it before it hits your... Of course, they're going to say, well, it's reasonable amounts. It's, 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 it's safe levels. You don't use enough to harm the, the human body. Except for everybody's catching goddamn cancer. And nobody knows why people... The, the, the life expectancy of Americans is dropping, is dropping dramatically. Not just... It, COVID's got a, a big part in that. But uh, also, it seems like every other person... You why every other person you see got some type of cancer or they had a titty cut off or they had a, a, a goddamn testicle removed or, or some shit. It says, um, it says, but that also means there's no simple solution to safeguard the water facilities. The Bay Area case is still under FBI investigation. How the hacker or hackers got access to the team viewer accounts isn't known. A sample of dark web forums is hackers buying, repackaging, and selling login credentials. The usernames and passwords for at least 10 Osmar employees have been traded on the dark web, said Kent by Backman, a researcher at the cybersecurity company Dragos. It says, to date, a true catastrophe where a hacker was able to poison a population's drinking water causing mass sickness and even death has not happened. But a number of facilities have been hacked in the past year, though most draw little attention. In Pennsylvania, a state water warning system has reportedly alerted its members to two recent hacks at water plants in the state. It says, in another previously unreported hack, the Cam Rosa Water District in Southern California was infected with ransomware last summer. Whether hacks on water plants have recently become more common or just more visible is impossible to tell because there is no comprehensive federal or industry accounting of water treatment plant security. This this little shit right here is amazing to me. This is the part that's amazing to me. Right. Whether the hacks on the water plants have recently become more common or they are just more visible, it is impossible for anyone to tell because there is no comprehensive federal industry accounting of water treatment plant security. Now, anybody with two guys, I don't, I'm not the smartest guy in the goddamn world, but the first question I would have to ask is why? Why is there no accounting or why is the security so lax? This is the goddamn, this is the, this is the essence of life, water. You can't go more than goddamn 72 hours without water or you're going to be dead. This is literally the essence of life. Wouldn't you think, you would think, that's how I told you. You keep thinking that Joe Biden got the, the government got these big conspiracies. These motherfuckers is dumb as dog shit. The only thing they focus on is getting money. You think they got these big these conspiracies where they hiding all the shit and they're just so smart and they're, they're just so, you really think Joe Biden's smarter than you? Yes, you just look at Joe Biden and Donald and Donald Trump. Put both of them two motherfucking IQs together. I think if you put both Donald Trump and Joe Biden IQs together, I probably got them motherfucking beat. This should let you know that these people are not that bright to be doing all the shit, these conspiracies that everybody think the government is up to. This is the heads of the government and the people that make it to the top. Look at Joe Biden ass, dude. Joe Biden seemed like the type of guy who is going to be able to outwit and outsmart any goddamn body. But yet, he is the guy that is in charge of running every goddamn thing. Donald Trump. Do Donald Trump look like the type of guy who's going to be able to outwit wit and outsmart every goddamn body. He looks like the cream of the crop to you. We don't take our smartest, our brightest, and most intelligent and tell them to lead us. We take our dumbest, our most corrupt, our most rotten, and then we tell them, okay, now you, y'all guys lead us. Which just shows you, uh, if you put up a mirror, how fucking stupid we all are. <laughs> We picked the dumbest motherfuckers to, to praise and follow behind and lead. Out of all the motherfuckers you could pick, we went from Donald Trump to Joe fucking Biden. Bush, they picked Bush. <laughs> you remember fucking Bush? Fool me once, uh, shame on you. Uh, uh, fool me twice. Uh, uh, how does thing go? Uh, yeah, you ain't gonna fool me again. Bush, 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 man. This motherfucker, this, this is a single digit IQ. He ain't double digit. He ain't double digit. That motherfucker IQ might be a 76 and a half. 76 point seven so anyway man uh yeah so this is what i tell you man these people are not that smart man they had they weren't even smart enough to goddamn bolster up the security the, the they saying the water plant security is so fucking weak that it's child's play probably if we learn how to do the ransomware which they say is not that hard to do me or you just regular individuals like us we can hack into the water system that's how weak the security is on these plants <laughs> and but if you do if they are successful at poisoning one of these goddamn plants, you're looking at tens of thousands, potentially hundreds of thousands of people 
getting sick and dying. And these plants have, listen, man, Walmart got better security than these motherfuckers. Think about that shit, man. You go to a regular store, then the security is better at a, I don't know, pick a store. What are we going to pick? Pick anything you want, man. Pick a mall. The security at the mall is more, is either equivalent or better than the security they got securing our goddamn water treatment plant. It says it is really difficult to apply some kind of uniform cyber hygiene assessment. Given the desperate size and capacity and technical capacity of all the water utilities, said Mike Keegan, an analyst of the National Rural Water Association and Trade Group for the sector. It says, you don't really have a good assessment of what's going on, he said. Uh, unlike the electric grid, which is largely run by a smaller number of nonprofit corporations, most of the more than 50,000 drinking water facilities in the U.S. are nonprofit entities. Some that serve large populations are larger operations with dedicated cybersecurity staff. But rural areas in particular often get their water from small plants, often run by only a handful of employees who aren't dedicated to cybersecurity experts, said Bryson Bork, uh, a consultant of industrial cybersecurity systems. He goes on to further say, and I quote, they're even more fragmented at the lower levels than anything we're used to uh, talking about, like the electric grid, he said. If you could imagine a community center run by two old guys who are plumbers, that's your average water plant. The security of the water plant is equivalent to, he said, if you could just imagine a community center, like your local community center that you go to that are run by the two old guys who are the plumbers, the two maintenance men. That's usually what they have at the water treatment plants for security. It says there has never been a nationwide cybersecurity audit of water treatment facilities and the U.S. government has said it has no plans for one. While individual facilities can ask the federal government for help to protect themselves, few do. In most cases, it's up to the individual water plants to protect themselves. And even if they're aware they've been hacked, a big if they might not be inclined to tell the federal government, much less their customer. That means hacks can take years to come to light if they do at all. So now they're saying these water treatment plants can potentially have been hacked or are being hacked. And who knows the implications of that? Because they're not even inclined to tell the government that they've been hacked or the customers. They don't. This is by law. I guess not, there's no law to make them even say they've been hacked or not been hacked. So you could literally have a situation where these goddamn treatment plants wind up getting poisoned or they're too incompetent to know or and or they just don't give a damn and say well we're going to cover it up or we not we can't let everybody know this this is going to cause major panic so they're just going to sit there and let you go ahead and drink the goddamn poison water and die in march the acting u.s attorney in kansas indicated a former employee of the tiny water treatment plant in ellsworth county over an incident that had happened two years earlier a night shift worker who had worked at a post rock rural water district logged into a remote online control system and tried to shut down the plant's cleaning and disinfecting operations in 2019, the Department of Justice said. The former employee has pleaded not guilty and his lawyer didn't respond to the request for comment. They got people on the inside trying to hit the shit from the inside. They got people on the outside trying to hit the shit from the outside. And guess what? They they trying hard to poison our water. So now that this has come to light and you heard it here first in politics as usual, they're going to succeed. It's just a matter of fucking time. It's not a matter of fucking if. It's a matter matter of when. Now, what city, what town, what place are they going to hit? Who's going to be feeding, the, uh, giving their kids this drinking water? And you don't even know that you're giving your kids a cup full of lies. Now, you ask your goddamn self, with the security they're saying they got that's equivalent to two old plumbers, <laughs> like at a community center or some shit, or at a school. That's the security they got for our water plant. And it just read here that the one that one of the attempts was trying to be it from the inside. One of the employees was trying to kill every goddamn body, which I don't understand that because you would think that you got family there too, you jackass. Oh man, I tell you, I was just I'm gonna assume that these employees was white. White people, I tell you, man, white people some strange people, man. It says a small rural war facilities tend to be reluctant to share their vulnerabilities, said Dyron Martin, a technical assistant at the Kansas Rural Water Association, a trade organization for about 800 Kansas water treatment facilities, including Post Rock. Generally, they're not reporting the federal to the federal government. There's there's some distrust, you know, in small towns, Midwest USA, he said. But letting employees log on remotely to do basic work offers substantial advantages for rural workers who periodically are alerted to minor issues that need attention, Martin said. Remote access makes it 
So you don't have to man a facility 24 hours a day, he said. We have a lot of remote water districts that cover hundreds of miles to pay a guy to drive 30 miles to turn a pump on, and then he might have to turn it off in three hours when the tank gets full. He can do all that remotely and it saves money, but it's going to cost lives. Because this is one of the ways the cyber hackers are able to infiltrate the system is through this remote access that they give these employees that are equivalent to the plumber working at the community center. <sighs> It says the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, the federal government primarily cybersecurity defense agency, is tasked with helping secure the, count, the country's infrastructure, including water. But it doesn't regulate the sector and is largely confined to giving advice and assistance to organizations that ask for it. Only a tiny fraction of the country's water facilities choose to use CISA's services several hundred out of more than the 50,000 across the U.S. Ann Coulter, a spokesperson for the agency, said, I know that ain't the Ann Coulter I'm goddamn thinking about. That got to be a different Ann Coulter. I know good and goddamn well Ann Coulter has not got nothing to do with our water plants, do she? That can't be the same Ann Coulter. I'm, you know, I'm thinking about the Bill Maher Ann Coulter. Anyway, let's finish it off here. And it says, of those that do the internal CISA report, what is a CISA? I guess that's CISA. For those that do an internal CISA survey conducted early this year, the results of which she shared with NBC found door results. As many as one in 10 water and wastewater plants had recently found a critical cybersecurity vulnerability. Most shocking, more than 80% of the major vulnerabilities uh, that the surveyed facilities had were software flaws, discovering before 2017, indicating a rampant problem of employees not updating their software. Some things are marginally improving. Congress recently recently gave CISA legal authority to force internet providers to turn over the identities of organizations that it or other government agencies see are being targeted by hackers. Man, this is, they, they, they just now trying to do some shit. Federal government are always behind the gun. It says the White House plans to launch a voluntary cybersecurity collaboration between the federal government and water facilities, similar to the one announced with the energy industry in April. A spokesperson said, though no dates have been announced. Experts said that there is no one claim it says experts said that no one claims any government initiative can make American water entirely safe from hackers. However, those two plumbers are in no different a boat than the Fort the Fortune 100 companies. Board said basically we are vulnerable, and it seems like these people can hack and tank the goddamn water at will. Um, that's the end of that article. But I thought that it was worth reading all of it because I think that uh, this should be basically the only thing anybody's talking about. I don't see what else would there be to talk about. At the end of the day, they hacked the food, the JBS. I, I did the story on the JBS. I'm about to be dropping the video. Uh, I just did the story yesterday. On the, oh, I did the story a week ago, but I followed up and just completed the JBS story where they hacked the meat pa the meat plant that controls a large, most of the beef in America. They had to shut down the meat plant. The meat plant paid the goddamn, the hackers, $11 million. Right before they did the meat plant, they did the goddamn colonial pipelines and shut down half the damn... Uh, a large portion of the gas on the East Coast. They had to pay them $5 million. Feds say they got back half of the $5 million, but still, all together, the first one was $5 million. Next time they asked for $11 million. Now they fucking around with the water. If they successfully shut down the water treatment plants, they ain't gonna have no trouble. I got a feeling they probably have already been paying these hackers because you see, they said that they don't share the information. They don't want to let the public know shit. These water treatment plants try to keep secrets from the government. There's a good chance they paying the hackers left and fucking right. They could already have to pay these damn hackers for all we know. But what I am saying is they did the gas line, the pipeline to show that they could do that. They fucked with the food and did the beef, the meat, and now they're fucking with the water. Now, unlike the gas, which we can survive without for uh, large periods of time, unlike the meat, you don't need meat to survive. We can survive without. Water is essential to life. You are not surviving without water. You understand what I'm telling you? You are not surviving without water. They're able to hack these goddamn water treatment plants and they're able to shut down the water across the country or just say in certain areas that hold large populations or everything's going to be a large population when it ain't no water. Even the town, they got three, 3,500 people in it. 
if all fucking 3,500 people die, that's going to be major, right? If you're looking at a town that's only got, uh, you know, holds about 32,000 people in it, if all 32,000 people get compromised from no having no goddamn water, because either you're going to drink the poison water, you ain't going to know it's poison. And even if you do know it's poison and you can't drink the water and use the water and bathe in it, you're going to have to fucking move. So I don't know what y'all think about it, man. I'm going to make sure y'all check those premieres and those videos out. Blessings, peace, and love to you and all that you cherish. Peace. We out, baby.